Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited for today's video because I'm actually going to be trying out this super long ponytail that I've been seeing everywhere. It's like the new trend and I'm super excited because this is my first time trying it. It is a little lengthier video because it is my first time. But I wanted to take you along on this journey. So if you're interested to see how I got this cute, slick, curly, long ponytail, then keep watching okay so before we get started a couple things that i picked up from my local beauty supply store was some thread one of the curved hooks and then hair so i got track hair and it came with three different lengths um 14 16 and 18 and i was going for more like a wavy wet hair look but of course you could get like whatever hair you want for my hair it was in an old twist out and then i just lightly put some water on it because i didn't want my hair to revert to its natural state because i was going to be putting in a ponytail and braiding it so let's get right into the video First step for me is creating a sleek ponytail. So I do have a video on this, but we're gonna walk through what I want today. So you just need to decide what kind of part you want. I have, I'm gonna go with a middle part for me. I'm loving more and more a middle part over a side part or just up and away. I'll actually have some clips. So, I brought some moisturizing stuff because I was like, my hair is dry. I'm gonna be using my Long Lux Grow Yogurt Leave-In Conditioner. Like I said, I did damp my hair a little bit. It dried since I damped it because I was doing other stuff. But I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and moisturize my ends because, oof, oof. I don't even wanna tell y'all the neglect. And then I also have my Shea Moisture Coconut Hibiscus Shine and Moisture Mist that I'm just going to spray on the top of my hair. So I have my two styling products, this Eco Styler gel, I'm still using it. It has black castor and flaxseed oil in it. And then I'm going to be using my Old Faithful Shine and Gem. I'm going to take the Shine and Gem first, take some on my hand it together and smooth it on the back of my hair that way I'm creating this sleek pony and then I had to get a new brush because my other brush was just too dirty and these bristles are actually really hard but I know that's because I just need to use it for the first time and then hopefully it'll like soften up over time but brushing my hair it isn't super hard so that's good in my sleek bag ponytail video, I do take two more clips and put it here. But for this one, I'm just actually just gonna take a loose pony like this and put it around the hair and then move on to the front. So you wanna just keep doing this until you get the look that you are going for. I don't want my part to be that far back. So I'm gonna take another little section. The front part, I always do last. I'm actually going to take a clip for this part and clip this here so that it holds until I'm done with the other side. So I'll do my baby hairs in the end, but right now I'm just like sleeking down. So a lot of people too, when they're doing this look, either have their hair blown out or straight, but I'm here to show you that you don't need that, okay? So I'm going to start by focusing on one side, doing the same thing that I've been doing, moisturize. Now 
and now unclip this side and then smooth and brush any areas that you think need it so for me middle section here it depends on you how tight you want to do it I'm gonna do all right I like to just do this to see if there's any uncomfortableness in doing this okay now you want to braid this Put it on the edge or the end I should say now we have the braid we have this part I'm actually gonna take get one of my scarves to lay down my hair now I got my edges laying we're gonna open up this before that I'm actually gonna go ahead and thread my hoop I'm gonna take I just need a little piece for so I've seen this done multiple ways like people will break their hair like this put something around it and then glue the tracks from the hair i ain't gonna be doing that i'm just gonna take a little bit of the thread weave it through i just need enough to be able to keep the tracks on my hair through my hair and then you just tie it at the end here All right, now, now that we got this, I'm opening the hair and I couldn't decide if I wanted to start with this short and go long or long and then go short. I think I'm gonna do, so I think I wanna use the, and I, okay, so I buy hair for a variety of things. To braid, it's very rare that I buy tracks. But this brand had a color too, which is very rare. So let's see, I think I want it going here. Okay, so I think I'm gonna start with the short and then go long. I think that I'll just use it doubled like this. So I'm gonna take the needle and the weave, the track, thread through just so I can get this in here okay we're in there now and then I'm gonna take mind y'all this is the first time you've done this so bear with me okay I'm gonna take this and go through my hair and then pull this all the way up and then I think I'm just gonna go through one more time Okay, now that I got it on there, I'm actually just going to take this and wrap it around. Now that I've done like a few wrap rounds, I think I'm going to have to pause thread. Oh, I need to get some more. I need to set up more thread. I was going to say that I could not do that and hope that it just stays in place, but... Okay, so I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna clip this here. Okay, now that I have some more thread, I'm going to take needle through the tracks. And if you've never done tracks before, you might need to have one of your homegirls help you out. You can just be a boss <laughs> and try it out. All right, and then I'm gonna take this through I got the curved needle because it's just easier to get it through. I'm going to cut this off, tie it, and then go. And I'm just going to tie the two, open the strings up, these two together. Double knot. Now we're back to wrapping. Mm -hmm. 
So I have went around like three to five times now and I think it's probably a good spot to thread another piece. More thread. Thread it through. That's all I need. And then again. This is going to be a long video, especially because this is my first time doing this. I wanted to try it because I've been seeing, I mean, I I could have easily bought like a fake, you know, they have the extension ponytails. I could have bought one of those. Probably would have made my life a whole lot easier. But here I am, trying new things. So I'm going to take this through the last piece of track for this. Alright, let's see. Take it through. I think I'm going to wrap it in and take it through. Take it through the braid. Bring it out the side. Okay. Okay, I had to do that off camera because I was getting tired and it was just taking a really long time. So I'm now at the top. And for the second layer, I did just one instead of double. And I had to take my head wrap off because it was getting in the way. But now that I've cut this, I'm actually just going to bobby pin this to my hair because I cannot see back there to be able to put the needle and thread and I ain't got time to be stabbing myself. So I'm just going to bobby pin this into the back because you want to make sure it's secure since we're not threading. You're more than welcome to thread this part but like I was saying I can't see back there. So I'm just doubling up on the bobby pins. And then you need to take, I'm just going to cut it off a little piece of this. and wrap this around the tracks in the back. And the whole point of this is so that you don't sit so people, I should say, don't see the tracks at the top. And then I'm also just going to bobby pin that. And then again double up on that so so far so good since i was doing it this way i kind of feel like it shifted a little bit so i might just play with it on this side to see okay or in the back i wanted it long and i got it long I'm hoping everything is all secure and tight back there. I'm actually just going to touch up the front of my hair. Got my baby, baby hair brush. Done. I'm like scared to touch it because I don't really know what's gonna happen. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and tell me if you would try this video yourself. And I will see you in my next upload. Toodles!